it's Frankie Lou. And Angus and Charcoal. Yeah, this is Charcoal. He's the newest member of our flock. Yep. And we've had him for exactly 14 days. Yes. Oh, sorry about the wind. <laughs> it's very windy here today. Yes. And uh, what we're doing today is we're starting our intros of intro introducing our newest member to our flock. Yes. Because if we stick him right in right now, they'll probably hurt him. Yeah. And there. he might hurt them. Exactly. So we have, we've been doing this technique for a few years now and it works really well for us. Yep. We, That's how we brought in Coco and Dot. Yeah. It's how we brought in any of the new ducks to the, uh, cr um, to our crew here. What we do is basically, while well, he hasn't had any contact for the last 14 days with the, the uh, flock, we do let them see each other from other sides of fences. Yep. He does appear to be the picture of health, and I know a lot of people think that we're probably overreacting because honestly, he's in prime health. The farm he came from was wonderful, <laughs> but we do want to be extra careful, okay? Yep. So what we've done is we're doing garden prep today, and the garden is kind of neutral zone. Yep, that's where the ducks like to be assassins for the slugs. That's right. We set up a pond here for them, so we oh, know that the ducks are going to be happy because yeah. it'll be their first real. Like this is the first day we brought the hoses out. We're doing a lot of prep today. Yeah. And it's the perfect time to do the intro. So we're just going to show you how it goes. Um, but our number one tips would be when you do bring new birds to your flock, even if they do appear to be completely healthy, like our little guy here. 14 days. 14 days in quarantine. And then we do the slow introduction, okay? He's not gonna stay with them tonight, but he'll have a couple hours hanging out with them in the garden, and everybody's gonna be happy because they're in neutral ground doing things they love, <laughs> okay? We found that this has worked really well. Yes. Never been a problem. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be the case today, and we'll show you if it isn't. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. So Charcoal's having some fun, poking around, doing his thing. Here they come. Dasher, you're not a chicken. Go with the ducks. No, you idiot. Oh, Sinead. <laughs> Sinead did it on her own. Okay, I'm going to have to check in soon. Like then. <laughs> All right. Well, they're going to do their thing. Oh my goodness. It's been literally 30 seconds. She's already found the first place to take a for dust bath. Are you taping them now? Well, he's certainly not shy. Oh man. any second now. <laughs> it's literally been four months or longer since they've actually... There we go. <laughs> okay. It's, it just hasn't been nice enough. Oh, and the male ducks are already trying to do the trick. Right there. Now that's happy. I'm so glad to be able to give them this today after a long cold winter and no deep water. Well, now we've got some non aggressive interactions as they completely clear out this old garden bed. But this is the time of the year where it's okay to let them in because there isn't anything planted yet. You can see though how quickly <laughs> a couple of chickens can destroy a garden bed. This is why the ducks are only allowed in when the stuff is actually planted. This is pretty good. Yeah. I got they look pretty happy, don't they, I guess? Mm -hmm. This is the first time they've been able to really get in the water. It's just been too cold. The hoses have been frozen. I love this time of the year. <laughs> yeah, there's they're having so much fun in the pool they're practically emptying it. So we can add more water. <laughs>
day. It is so cute. Oh, there's nothing better than watching hens dust bath. And the ducks water bath. <laughs> yeah. See, that? this is how the chickens like to bathe. It's different, but they love it. They're so happy. Oh, that's bliss. Amber's still not so sure, but everybody seems pretty relaxed around each other now. Well, initially there was a little bit of battling between these two, but they seem to have come to some sort of peace accord for now, which is great. It'll take a while before everybody gets along perfectly though, and that's why we do these slow introductions. Okay, so we're, uh, we're pretty much done with our video here because we're We'll show you in a second. They seem to be getting along all right. Yep. We're not going to leave them together tonight. We'll keep them out for progressively longer stages every day. Probably go yep. for about a week. And then by then, everybody should be getting along great. He's certainly feisty and knows how to hold his own, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll end up with a little video here. Of them all. We'll let them say goodbye for us. And as we always say, we hope you take today's chance to grow together.